Welcome to Bunky's Woodworking. We're doing another Bunky's build video. So we are putting together some solar lights today. This is a great beginner project for people that would uh, like to learn how to solder. And now we go into the video. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to go ahead and put together these little solar lights. Uh, they're a real nice thing to have around the property, uh, so it gives just a little bit more light at night if uh, people are moving around or anything to that effect. The circuitry is a, uh, a switching circuit. Uh, it has a boost converter, so a 1.5 uh, volt battery can run a uh, 3 plus volt uh, LED. Uh, we start off with a 5 uh, 252 and then we have a straw hat uh, LED and a uh, inductor uh, and a 2 volt uh, solar panel and of course the uh, 1.5 volt uh, battery. The switching circuit works like this. Uh, when the voltage uh, from the solar panel is below a certain amount, the IC switches from charging the battery to discharging the battery to the LED. This is how the uh, solar light uh, turns on and off uh, when the sun goes down. There's lots of other ways to do this one, but this is actually one of the more simpler uh, soldering projects that you can do. Okay, so we started off our project with a uh, half inch uh, piece of plywood. Uh, this is for the, uh, the box for the solar light or the enclosure for it. Uh, this first uh, cutout was uh, kind of a, an experiment and we did have to uh, make a couple adjustments to the CAD uh, in order for everything to fit together perfectly. And again, my supervisor had to stop by in order to scold me for not doing it right the first time. So of course we go ahead and uh, we fixed the CAD and then we went ahead and uh, started uh, cutting out the uh, next pieces. Uh, after everything was cut out, I went ahead and uh, cut uh, off the tabs and uh, did test fits on the uh, mason jars we're using as the, uh, the holders for the solar panels. Ended up uh, sanding down the project and uh, gluing it up. These boxes that we ended up putting together were very, very sturdy. I ended up uh, dropping one a couple times and uh, it absolutely did not have a crack in it. It was, um, I, if a squirrel sat on it, I'd be pretty uh, confident that it wouldn't have any problem. Now, uh, we had the idea, since uh, we didn't really like the edges of the boxes, to use uh, some cedar on the sides. Uh, so we went ahead and uh, cut up uh, and uh, made uh, the cedar boards around the sides sanded down all of the box joints and uh, made them uh, nice and flush uh, to the project. Uh, and we went ahead and uh, glued up uh, the um, cedar to the uh, plywood uh, boxes. Now that that one's set up to dry, uh, we go ahead and cut out uh, the next one with the CNC, uh, re uh, remove all the pieces and reset the CNC to cut out the next uh, enclosure. If you like us doing these build videos, please uh, go ahead and write that in the comment. If you want to see more of them and get updates, please like and subscribe and hit a bell icon. Also, if you have any feedback, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. This was a basic design that we wanted to try out for the first try of this project um, which we ended up putting on our back patio posts. Uh, it looks good but it's not for everybody. We made multiple uh, different designs for our future build uh, and uh, we will be producing that soon so look out for future videos. Okay, so uh, here I go ahead and uh, cut uh, some 
shingles uh, from uh, some shingles that we had le uh, left over from our house. And uh, I go ahead and set out uh, all of the uh, equipment that I want to go ahead and put everything together with. Uh, drill some through holes for the uh, uh, for the switch on all of the enclosures. Now all that was left of the project was to put on the shingles, uh, put the uh, circuitry in there, drill the hole for the solar panel, and uh, to put the uh, mason jar on. And as you can see, uh, the project works pretty good. I have a lot of information on the circuit and the uh, LED and all the parts that we ended up using for this project, uh, and you'll be able to see it all in the uh, description below. Thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe. While you're at it, please check out our Etsy store. We have provided the link in the description below.